All right, everyone, we're back. We're talking some Florida college football for you. Mm. Uh, Miami lost to Virginia 28-21. Yeah, I did not catch that one. Um, Harris actually had a pretty good game. Was that the Thursday night game? Yeah. Okay, never mind. I did catch that one. Just um, not the final score. Harris actually had a pretty good game. He went 21-30, 311 yards, three touchdowns. Virginia basically just scored on four big plays. I mean, that's really all it was. And, I mean, they took advantage of the four big plays, and it led to a W, so. Well, sometimes that's all that it takes uh, to get these close games. Um, I mean, one big play can be a difference in a game. If you get four, that could definitely be a difference. I mean, that could be a difference between just maybe winning and blowing somebody out. It just depends. Um, I don't, and one one thing I have with Harris, I don't know if you saw his uh, post game interview, but he said he's sick and tired of always uh, playing from behind. And my thing is, isn't that partly his fault? I mean, you are the quarterback of the team. Is it not your responsibility to make sure you're not behind? Yeah, why don't you go get a lead? I mean, you know, you you can't control the defense, but move the chains. Mi- Miami usually has a pretty stout defense. Move the chains, control the clock. You know, I'm, I mean, I'm just saying. It's like, it's like when Reggie Bush talks crap. You know, you back it up. Yeah. I mean, Harris. You know, when Harris came up to Miami, he was supposed to be this great quarterback, and haven't seen win a Heisman, win a national championship, and I, I just haven't seen it. He, he is, he does do good, but he hasn't been consi- consistent like people thought he would be. No way. <laughs> I think I just died. Easy, sir. Um, I don't know if you saw Al Golden in Miami already working out a new contract. Are they not? Um, basically, I don't know what's going to be included in it, but basically I think they're going to put basically a clause in there because the, NCAA, the NCAA investigation is still going on. Still. And they don't know what's going to happen. From what I was reading is the – Basically, the new contract will have an, an escape clause for him. That way, if like the NCAA comes down hard on him, like everyone's thinking, that he'll be able to leave without any ramifications because they didn't disclose this investigation to him when he got hired. Right. So at least it's good for him that he won't have to sit there and basically coach a lame duck if they get screwed like everyone thinks they will. Probably. Uh, but they do have Duke coming up next, and that's always a good team to uh, bounce back against. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's like the football version of a of a uh, <laughs> grenade or a slump buster. Yeah. Oh, everyone needs a slump buster. Yeah, yeah. And-